Hello friends, this is Miki Menez. I am coming from Spain and right now I am in Bobington Time Museum, one of the best museums in the world. Uh, I am a professional modeler. I spent all my life making um, tank models and just focusing in my passion, that is the military vehicles. Uh, this is in fact one of the reasons of my life. So why I am here today? Because I want to share with you five of my favorite tanks that you can find here in this museum. Uh, there are many, of course, and uh, each time this museum is growing and growing a lot. I, I have been here seven years ago, and now it's totally different, and you can find new vehicles, new staff, new organizations, so I recommend you to come here each year, if you can. Uh, so come with me, I will show you first the tank number five of my favorite list. So let's go. Please remember to like, subscribe, or click the little notification bell if you don't want to miss out on these videos. And I'd just like to say thank you to all our patrons for making this possible. Please join them if you can. Well, and this is my number five favorite tank in this museum. It's the Whippet tank, it's a British tank, and it's one of the most beautiful tanks from the First World War. It's uh, really different to other tanks from the First World War, like the Mark IV or Mark V, because you can see that the mine structure for the creep is in the rear part of the tank, so the engine was in the front, and this is something like, for example, the Merkava tank that we can see in nowadays, that the uh, engine is in the front just to protect the creep, but also have a different features that make it very interesting, like this part, uh, this part in the running gear, as you can see, uh, for example, in the Matilda tank. So this is like a, one of the origin of many interesting tanks, not only the Matilda, of course, but also other tanks that use the rear uh, position for the turrets, for example, all artilleries and the Merkava, like I said before. But uh, I think that is um, interesting, not only because uh, those features, but also because it's really huge. I expected uh, this tank much more smaller when, uh, when I saw for first time in photos, but when I saw for first time here in this museum, I was really, really impressed to see all the tiles and all components. This is really fantastic tank. If you want to see something really, really unique in the world, you must see this vehicle, the Type 95 Hago. Uh, this is my number four favorite tank in this museum because it's really unique. Probably there are two or three maximum in this world and one is here in Bobington. Uh, probably it's not the typical big tank like the T-34, Tiger, Panther and others or even Sherman, but uh, was very important in the Pacific. It's a very important Japanese tank that we use it to defend the islands in the Pacific Wars. Um, for the modelers, it's, it's, it is very interesting because you can make many different camouflages uh, in very different environments like Europe. Uh, so you can, you can make it in, in the, among the palm trees, in the beaches, in, in every place in the Pacific. So it's very interesting to see the shape, the real shape of this tank that is not too big, uh, was a very fragile tank, was not too powerful, but was very effective against the infantry in the islands. Of course, it uh, haven't changed, uh, haven't chance against the Sherman, the powerful Sermans, but was very effective against the infantry. So this is one of the most attractive tanks for me. Uh, and uh, I, I really wanted to share with you. So if you are coming here to this museum, please visit this little Hago tank uh, and you will enjoy a lot. And this is my number three favorite vehicle in this museum, the Cascabel. Yes, probably for some of you, this is a very strange decision, no? or maybe a rare vehicle. Uh, but for me, um, it's interesting because uh, probably, as far as I know, is uh, the only uh, vehicle made in South America exported to another countries in the world. Uh, also took part in Iraq, uh, was fighting in Iraq in, 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 uh, during a long time. Also, I have seen in uh, Libya 
And I have seen also a photo of one of them fighting in the recent uh, war of Syria. So it's uh, a very uh, common vehicle that you can find in the Middle East. It's totally different to others. Probably it's not the most beautiful one six-wheeled vehicle, but uh, it's attractive because uh, the shape is interesting. The turret looks like the Panhard, but uh, at the same time, uh, for models, especially for models, you can paint in, in sun color, very rusty and with a lot of effects. I have seen the Cascabel only in Brazil, in a military base, in a, in a tank school. Uh, and I was impressed uh, that they use it uh, like a normal vehicle. Here it's just uh, a not operational vehicle, uh, but I recommend you, if you have the opportunity to cane and take a look to this amazing vehicle. Probably some plastic brand will release very soon in plastic, so take a look to this model. Bye bye, friends. Well, and now we are in front a uh, love story. This is the, my love story of, about this stand. This is my favorite number two. Uh, and this is because when I was a children, when I was very young, the first model that I made in my life was the Crusader III. My father just gave me like a present before going to the camping. And I remember to assemble this kit the first night. So since that moment, I was in love for this stand, for the shape, for the, for the turret, and for many aspects that make this vehicle really attractive. But also it's difficult to find in other places. So you must come here to see this uh, authentic uh, Crusader 3. Also, uh, I want to show you some different features of the tanks. For example, the turret that for me was very special, very different, for example, to the Matilda tanks, to the Valentine, to the Sermans or the, or the German tanks. Is, uh, they used inclinated armor and also rivet that was very unusual for that time of the war. But anyway, it was very important because it was a fast tank, was, um, was enough strong to, to fight against the Germans, and also uh, was the origin of uh, some suspension. For example, look the wheels. Many tanks that was made before, like the Cromwell or, or uh, even some modern tanks like the... Like the um, like the Chaftain or Challenger, they use the similar same suspension, very different to the Matilda, for example. So this is why I like this tan. I am completely in love, and I will be in love forever in my life. Well, and finally, this is my favorite number one, the top of the tanks. Yes, this is the Tiger one, a very popular tank, iconic tank. Um, probably for many of you is also your favorite tank. But why, in my case, this is my favorite tank after see others that are so rare and some, uh, um, unusual? Well, the Tiger, tank, the Tiger Tank in this museum is so special because this is an authentic and real Tiger Tank that was captured in North Africa, in Tunisia. And it's completely original. They have in running conditions and one of the things that I like most from this tank is the color that uh, is not easy to see in other museums, uh, a well-restored tank like this one, especially about the camouflage that was very um, conflictive or controversial subject for many modelers, no? which color they use in North Africa. Well, this is one example. Even they painted in a, with another different colors, this is very well done with a very accurate color. So you must came here to see in real because when you will see the colors of the tank, you will be shocked. So this is my favorite. This is the most iconic tank in the world, probably, uh, and also one of the symbols of this museum. So thank you to this museum to keep and conserve this amazing and unique vehicle for all tank lovers. Well, guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy my five favorite tanks from this amazing museum. Of course, there are much more, and probably you can find here something that you like uh, even more than my selection. But anyway, thank you to stay with me today. And please don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel of Bobington Museum and also support them in Patreon. Also, I will upload some videos from here where I will explain you something about some different tanks that I like also. Thank you very much and see you in England, Bobington. Bye bye, friends.